So when I think about some more turning points in my life, one lesson that do stick out is when it comes to relationships. And what I learned is that the type of man that you choose, it do um, affect the direction of your life. And I know sometimes we don't think that as women, we just think that we can just pick anybody and it doesn't really affect us as long as we control the relationship. But that doesn't work because the type of man that you do choose, it does affect how you move in life, how your life is going to go. And, you know, I can give like a, like a plain example, a real example. You have some women that grow up in really good households. They were raised right, but then they meet with this guy, you know, they don't have the same values as, as they do, don't have the same beliefs, probably don't really have a whole lot of common, but they end up getting a serious relationship with them. And most of the time it's sexual. And then they end up getting pregnant, having this child, and then the guy is going somewhere else or the relationship just fell apart and now they're a single mom. And those are just real, you know, that's a real story. Um, and because when you have situations like that, you know, it just make you think about, you know, why we make the choices that we do. You know, and I believe that can't nobody really force you into a relationship. Can't nobody force you to be with them. And I know sometimes, you know, we think that because we feel like that, you know, this person is trying so hard. So let me give them a chance. But you have to know what's behind that. Because, you know, it's hard to just realize that that when we engage in relationships, it really do impact our lives. Like it really does um, influence us in such a great way. You know, when we have like certain friend groups or when we have like um, even certain family members, uh, family circles, that the longer that we hang around these people, we start to, you know, pick up habits. We start to, you know, become a different type of person. And that can go both ways, both good and bad. So the lesson that I always just, you know, want to share is that be careful about who you decide to engage in a relationship with. And I know that sometimes that, you know, we think that's an obvious thing, but for a lot of people out there, that's not so obvious because they still get into the wrong relationships. They don't really think about it. They don't just take a step back. Now, for me, when I come to maturity in my life is that when it comes to dating, it's not about me going just trying to get with this person or having a whole lot of children with them and not married, but it's about gathering information about that person. It's about gathering that data that I need to learn about this person. It's not me just making a full blown commitment, but me gathering information, me vetting this person out, me making sure that this person aligned with what I believe and what I seek for, you know, in a man, you know, in a husband for me, you know, in that stage of my life. But, you know, making sure that this is, you know, going to work for my life and even with my son, you know, make sure this person have those qualities, you know, to take on that role of father in my home. And also, you know, to help me even when it comes to co-parenting. So when I think about all these things that, you know, it just let me know that, hey, dating should not be, you know, this spot where I just make, you know, just crazy, just decisions. It doesn't mean that, okay, since you found this person, oh yeah, let's go move in together. Let's go do this, this, that. No, put a stop on that learn about this person, gather information, because, you know, this is my belief. I'm not letting no man move in with me unless I'm married to that person, because I'm not trying to make a home that's not really there. You know, I believe in commitment and commitment for me is marriage. So, you know, be careful, you know, when it comes to relationships, be careful about these things. And I also want to add this one thing too. Be careful who you listen to when it comes to relationships. And I know it's a lot of advice out there um, my personal belief is that I feel like most of that advice is based off um, selfishness. Um, ooh, I can't say it right. Okay, let me back on that. Most of that advice is based off um, just a selfish desire because, you know, some people just think that it's all about them. And they feel like the only way they're going to have great relationships or a good relationship or a good marriage is that it has to be 100% about them. And the other person is like their servant or the person that's supposed to make them feel good. And what I'm learning, I just thank God for this, is that I'm learning that when it comes to love, it's more about the truth of that. It's not about so much about people making you feel good, but what's the truth about that relationship? Because love has a certain truth that comes with it. If a person loves you, they're going to make that sacrifice. They're going to you know, be that person that you need, need them to be, you know, doing that relationship and, you know, eventually to that marriage. But, you know, this is what I'm learning. You know, this is, um, 
you know, something that I'm starting to think more and more about because I'm not trying to go back to my old ways. I'm not trying to go back to the old, you know, situations that I have been in, but just, you know, learn and grow. And yes, I'm in my thirties and I'm still learning. So it's okay, you know, to admit that. So this is just my own little life lesson I'm going to share tonight. And hopefully, you know, I'll be able to come back tomorrow to really talk about, you know, more life lessons and more turning points in my life. Um, right now, still studying in school. So I may be able to do some things in the morning time, but I like the nighttime conversations and, you know, I could just, you know, be comfortable and just chill out and we just talk, have a real conversation. So y'all be good.